Hey, welcome to the show. Dicey Guy here. Thank you to tabletopbattle.no for sponsoring everything on this show and for my Patreons. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, let's just go into this. I'm very excited. A lot of old scopes, a lot of, um, you know, old mistakes still on the spruce, but uh, we are going to into it, dig into it and look at the spruce. Or, uh, we are going to flip through the whole uh, book that comes with this and it's, it's big, it's like 300 something pages. Uh, we are going to flip through every page and just look at it. It's amazing. And um, let's see where we, where, what we feel afterwards and hopefully, hopefully it's going to inform you a little bit about uh, the, uh, the, this edition or army book uh, box and everything. There's a shit ton of miniatures and shit ton of things to assemble and the new miniature is amazing oh my god anyways um yeah hey subscribe and like and comments are appreciated uh recommended uh, to make this channel grow anyways enough about this stuff let's go in to the box table down awkward silence This box is so big and oh my setups, <laughs> it can't handle it. Oh my God, this box here, so big, it's insane. So here is a painting bottle uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's like uh, two painting bottles thick. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, I waited for this. Um, new release of kingdom of bretonia for i don't know 15 years maybe something like that it's awesome oh my god i, I think it's like 10 years or so yeah nine years or so uh age of sigmar came and um, warhammer fantasy battle disappeared it's kind of back but it's uh it's called the old world now and um, let's turn this uh, bad bo boy around and just see what's in on the back side of this. Uh, so uh, there are 76 miniatures in this box. Uh, there are some new additions. There are a lot of old scopes here, but there is a new um, Duke on Royal Pegasus here. This also can be the Baron. Uh, of the Pegasus, so that's uh, so you can see here you have two men at arms, you have uh, uh, a little road of um, bowmen, and then you have two uh, regiment of Knight of the Realms ready to go. And you also have Pegasus Knights, so you get a lot of things, and you get a 352 page Warhammer the Old World rulebook. 21 six-sided dice, template and measuring sticks, reference sheet and transfer sheets. So, yeah, there's a lot there. And yeah, you can probably read everything if you want to. We are going to get this open now. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'm very, I'm excited. It seems like it's double locked here with two stickers or what you want to call it seals okay it is uh, it is open ladies and gentlemen and you can see the new uh, color scheme they are using for this one it's interesting um hmm. you want to turn it around Ugh. and just look at this how, how thick it is it's a very nice box for for uh, storing your whole army and uh, okay <laughs> here we go here we go here we go let's open it up oh, oh my god oh. da da 
Here you have it. The good old measuring sticks. <laughs> they have they have to have a surplus of the measuring sticks laying around. We have a new uh, version of of the old uh, uh, templates, which is very cool, very nice. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, there's so much in here. It's filled to the brim with miniatures. We have Pegasus parts here. We have horses. Uh, very interesting. There are a lot of... A lot of... Um, the old spruce. I... Okay, here we have a new sprue. Whoa, that cape is dope. Let's see if we can. That's some awesome stuff. Okay, but we are going to go. We're going to open up everything and we can see more on the spruce afterwards. Just having a little spruce of the bruce. This is the new one too. Huh, very interesting. Why is there two type of... Oh, oh yeah. Okay, this is how to glue together to be one. Uh, whoa, that's... Oh, there's a lot of cool little details here. So there's a, a lot of reuse of the old spruce here. And we are definitely going deep in and see what all the spruce are about. Warhammer, the old world. Double sided, the same thing. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Woo. Look at this. The rule book. Nice. Then we have. Construction booklet and introduction by muster list. Cool. So, little dues for my Pegasus. And open this bad boy up. And here we have bases, dices, and a new. Um, I believe it's 25 uh, the size the new size for a Bretonian yeah okay that's that's kind of what we get in in the box so I'm going to clean up everything and we can open up I think we go I kind of want to see what's inside the books and everything so here we have the decal that comes with the sprue. Warhammer the Old World Kingdom of Britannia edition. This is how, how you can build your miniatures. Yeah, and here it follows all the things you can build. That's nice. There's a lot of options to how you can build these guys. Then you have the Britannian Lord of the Royal Pegasus. That's also double down as the Duke, so you can choose what you want. Lot of lot of cool little details. Nice. Very nice. The army Duke Castell the Red Hand. The following pages you will find a muster list for the army of Duke Castell the Red Hand of Brion, a ready to use army of 1249 1, points which can be assembled using contents of this box. This army is ideal for playing a 1250 point game, Warhammer the Old World, allowing you quickly to get your models into the battlefield, begin learning the rules. 
Additional characters and units can be easily added, increasing the army as you wish. So here we have the army of Duke Castile, the Red Hand. Ah, let's see. Interesting. Okay. Okay, and then we have a special ruse, blessed by trip, Triptych. Uh, unit can contain a Grail Monk equipped with blessed Triptych gains the stubborn. Okay, so there's a lot of different blessing of the lady. Once deployment is complete, instead of rolling to determine which player takes the first turn, the Brown army may kneel and pray for a blessing of the lady. Nice! If it's done, the opposing player uh, won the roll off. Okay, we get six ward safe against wound suffered and uh, five plus ward safe against any suffered caused by attack with strength five or higher. Okay, so a little bit different. Uh, losing the blessing, unlike other special rules, the blessing of lady can be lost during the game. Any model or unit that flees. Yeah, okay, so kind of the same, but not really <laughs> as uh, the blessing of the lady of of like old the olden days. But I I. It's very nice that they have the, this already. Peasantry, if an... Okay, there's a... A lance formation consists of two or more models arranged in edge to edge to the base contact. All models of the unit may face the same direction, must be arranged in the formation that consists of one or more horizontal rows. Ranked, the front of the unit contains one model, second, two, third, three, and so on. Yeah. Hmm, how does it work? Okay, there's a lot of information to take in. I'm not sure, I can't... Um, I can't be very sure how, how the enhanced formation actually works. I think it works as before, but... Um, Combat result in a unit lands formation claim plus one combat result point. Huh. Okay. Then we have this little book here. So beautiful. Oh. Mm. There we have the little template for quick rules. Very nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, the new book smell is so good. Welcome to the old world. Sound the trumpets and beat low the drums for war. For the weighty tome you hold in your hands is your key to en entering the dark and bloody land. It's the world of demons and sorcery, a brutal area of warfare and conquest. Warhammer the old world, the game of fantasy battles, brings all the action into your tabletop. You command armies of miniatures in a game that promises bold maneuver, daring repost, and untold slaughter. <laughs> ah. 
Okay, I'm going to skip a little bit. Uh, how do, does this book work? This book contains everything you need to know in order to play games of Warhammer the Old World in your tabletop. For ease of navigation, the book is divided into following main sections. The Old World, Rules, Miniatures, Showcase and Warhammer Battles. So what you need, an army, rulebook, tape measure, a battlefield, terrain, templates, dice, pen and paper. I like uh, how they are building their kits here. That's cool. Oh, there's a lot of uh, reading to be done, that's for sure, 100%. A lot of uh, reuse of the old art for old army books I can see. I can spot just straight up. So they are reusing a lot of, uh, yeah, old army book um, um, art. I think the map are new. Times of legend. Here we can go into like the good old lore and somebody that's probably thicker into lore than me can spot the difference. Or maybe they are all the same. I have questions, of course. Very beautiful book, very thick and good paper. It's, uh, so, so nice. Ah, oh, yes. Let's go, Bretonia. So here we have the Bretonian lore. Dogs of War, The Enchanted Woods, Lord of Uthrian, The Ancestors Gods, Green Menace, let's go! <laughs> Tomb Kings of Camry, The Lost and the Damned, The Beast of Forest, the Wolves of the Sea. Oh, interesting. Land of Ice and Snow. Ruled by dragons. Okay, they are changing up a little bit. Oreo of the game, the rules, general principles. The most important rule. Warhammer the Old World is a complex game and as such players may occasionally disagree in the inter interpretation of the rules. Should disagreement arise, players are encouraged to look up the rules in question, reach an agreement and move on. Should this prove impossible, a roll-off should determine which interpretation is will apply for the remainder of the game. What matters more than any rule is that players enjoy their game and the rivalries remain <laughs> friendly. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so they, they kept that in the book. Then we have the templates. And here is actually a one-to-one -one representation of the templates. So you can photocopy it for personal use. So scatter dice is back. Model profiles. So here is the baseline profile. So everything that's bigger number than this is, uh, you know, beneficial. Huh. Forming units. 
removing casualties. Magic. Uh, this this uh, army book here is so beautiful. Turn sequences. Strategy phase. The movement phase. In detail. The shooting phase. Panic test, the combat phase. Break test is back. Follow up and pursuit. Oddball stuff. Hmm. The psychology of war, panic test. Okay. Special rules. Army specific rules and so such. Breath weapons, ambushes. Yeah, here we have a lot of. Here is the, here is the fun parts. <laughs> oh. Unusual formation. Skirmish formation. Troop type of in detail. Uh, here we have uh, regular infantry, monstrous infantry, cavalry, heavy cavalry, chariots, heavy chariots. Monsters, war machines. Huh. Command groups. Characters. Weapons of war. Okay, so here we have the characteristic of everything. That's that's actually very very handy, very nice. Cannon, fire trouble organ guns, Emperor of Man, here we have. Here we have the showcase of the different miniatures and how you can paint them. Kingdom of Bretonia with um, a lot of the new paint jobs, but you have some old paint job here with the grey knights. Interesting, very nice. Wood Elf Realms. Let's go. At first glance, I can't see any new miniatures for High Elves and Wood Elves. Orcs and Goblin Tribes. Dwarven Mountain Hole. Tomb Kings of Camry. Warriors of Chaos. Battlefields of Britannia. Oh, they look so good. Very nice. Mortar. Okay, this is Empire. Yeah. Ah, and inspiration for the different um, bat battlefields, battlefield terrain, how much terrain. If there's too much terrain, units will be struggle to maneuver. If there's too little, battlefield will be sparse and uninteresting. The best guide to use in terrain per 12 inches long table edge, rounded up nearest 12 inch. The longest is 
72 six features should be suffice okay and here it goes in a little bit on the uh, how, how big they should be and everything like that Pesbog terrain low liner Mm. Percentages. There's a lot of information, uh, and I'm just brushing through the army book here. But there's a lot of uh, nice little things we can do. See, we are entering into battles. Yeah. Okay. So this is. Um, different uh, setups i think for uh, that we can choose yeah very nice Oh, campaign. And then you do interesting narrative battles, surprise encounter. Not all battles are carefully planned. Sometimes petrels forging ahead, two armies will stumble upon each other, encountering a new enemy where none were expected. Starts a bloody skirmish. All through the scenario designed to the first of three linked battles, it can be played alone. Okay. Dark monolith. Heroic last stand. Okay, there's a lot of different um, scenarios. Very nice. Call of Magic is back. Lore of Magic. Battle Magic. Demonol Demonology. <laughs> Dark Magic. Elementalism. High Magic. Illusion. Necromancy. Wog Magic. <laughs> magic Items. Weapons. And then we have the quick reference in the back of the book. Very nice. And there you have it. And we have index and then we end up with the map. So a very chaotic opening of the old world Warhammer, the old world um Bretonian edition box it's been a trip into memory line and everything feels new at the same time I'm very interested in seeing uh, how everything is going to play out I'm very excited I very much like the book I very much like the artwork I very much like the miniatures um, I was talking about looking a little bit more on the um, on the um, spruce. So we are going to go a little bit into the spruce right now. Okay, so here we have the duke. That double stone as um, the Pegasus Rider. First off, let's see. 
there's in that uh, there's this is just lovely <laughs> oh my god um yeah wow look at this sword here and all the um, I, I want to call them echoes or um callbacks to like how different things you have seen on spruce and stuff like before but they are modernized it's very nice it's very nice it looks so good i'm very excited for the new the new things they have made for britannia uh, pegasus is just amazing this is going to be fun to build up and paint i think very cool very interesting spruce i like the wood detail and i like uh, the leather details i'm not gonna lie i like everything <laughs> Right now I can't spot anything I dislike with um, the, the Royal Pegasus sprue. Even have a little ornament on the the Wimpo on the lance. The lance is awesome. Holy shit, it's cool. A lot of dingle dangle. <laughs> oh, you can put on your thing. There is, uh, there you have uh, the lady. Yeah, th this is this is 10 of 10, I think. I have to build it up, but wow. I think it's a 10 of 10 right now. Okay, let's um let's see what's inside here. So there is uh for the Pegasus, but th these are not Pegasus heads. This is just uh, random stuff thrown together. Okay. Then you have a lot of horses in a bag. And you can see here, I, I was curious if they were going to change up a thing or two with the horses. They haven't. So they have, um, let's see, there are kind of big mold lines here. And this one is maybe the worst of the bunch. So you need. You actually need some type of scrape to scrape it off. Um, so you have a uh, Citadel makes scrapes like this. So what you do, you go in, in here and then you scrape this down. Just to make it flush. There's a lot of horses, not everybody has this, but uh, there's a fair amount of this that you have to change up a little bit because that that is going to look uh, very not nice when you have built up the horse. You scrape it away with when you see it and uh, they're kind of big mold lines here if you can see them. So yeah, I was hoping they uh, realigned their mold um, maker before they made uh, the new the new set of Britannia, but they didn't. So heads up there. There's uh, going to be a little work, and your best tool is kind of like this, or you can use your uh, sharp um, knives and you use the other edge. You can use that to scrape away. Don't use the knife edge because that's going to dig into your miniature. But use the other thicker side to scrape uh, the mold lines. So this this is better because it's just real steel and it's bigger. So it's going to help you scrape with no flex. There's no flex on, on this. It's going to be flexy. So it's going to... You have a lot more... It, yeah, it's going to be harder on your hands and stuff like that. Let's see, so here is uh, one of Men of the Arms and you can see a rabbit here, 
some elixir, some uh, doughs, <laughs> and some meat and potatoes. There's a lot of fun stuff on those sprues. Very, very much interesting stuff you can do with these guys. And I, I do like that I changed up their, their footing. So instead of having uh, 20 by 20 uh, millimeter uh, base, they have uh, 25, so it's bigger, so you can post them a little bit more cooler. Here you have the Pegasus, and this is the head you use for your Pegasus Knights. And uh, yeah, you glue your wings into there. See, that's the same men of arms that I show you. Let's see, yeah, so you get a lot of the same type of spruce. There's a lot of heads, a lot of details you can put on there. The men at arms. Here we have the Bowman sprue. No, I'm lying. This is still the Men of the Arms. Wait. Mm. Yeah, this is still the Men of the Arms, but you have one with a bow here. And you have a snail. You have a, a treasure. You have a lot of little fun little details here. I like that one. And you can you can maybe put the dog uh, and this one on a sprue and have a bigger base and you can make it a, a unit filler so you can make bigger have more armies out of this one box that could be nice so this one with the bow you can use as a cool little addition for your bowmans this one is very nice so the bowman can have one that uh, men of arms having uh, how the wind are changing so the bowman can uh, see if they have to go to the left or the right when they are shooting or th how the wind are changing on the battlefield <laughs> uh, you have some cool little dudes here but you also have this a little bit more uh, fat uh, fat dude um, and you can also I think you can see the mold line here too and it's very yeah it's it's deep so you have to scrape a lot but this one you can put a monk head on it you know with he has no he's bald on top and you can have him having a drink and so and you can make a little bit of a um, battle pilgrims you can uh, yeah you ha here you have the jester you can put the jester on this one and paint it up like in jester colors and you know this brew alone is very cool if you are into like um Mordheim or something you can uh, tell a little story with a lot of things in here you have holding uh, your um, torch here these are actually there are frogs on it but they are actually drumsticks that you are drumming your with your drum but you can have them hold one uh, of the the frogs <laughs> You know and you can pretend they are eating them a frog on a stick or something that's how you paint them and then you have the mustache man a bald man uh, uh, like bald on top but here around there's a lot of fun little stuff on that sprue and you get three of them at least Four. Then more of the uh, Pegasus sprue. There's so much things that it's kind of hard to keep it uh, keep keep the place clean. Then we could go into the bowmen and how they are looking at the sprue. So 
they have the Palisades and um, for firing the putting fire on your so you get a lot of them the same type of sprue it's very cool with the uh, arrows stick into the dirt so they can ready them and some cogs so very cool detail more men at arms and then we get some knight of the realm whoa there's some plastic that's still touching into the frame here with the falk and there's <laughs> there's so much fun uh, stuff to build here and you have this box with a heart in it and there's the he-man I think that's that's the last sprue and uh, whoa that it's so much it's uh quite the burn to take in so yeah hopefully it was uh informing and helpful to look at this video and um <laughs> There is so much information that's very hard for me to comprehend and talk about everything in just one sitting. So, but yeah, hey, uh, comments down below uh, if you want um, an update where we are. I'm probably going to do some live building on the channel and stuff like that. I'm very excited. Um, currently. working on painting some yeomans for the Bretonians. Um, I, I'm not sure but in the like uh, the old 8th edition they were not good but I freaking love the miniatures so there you go <laughs> they are in metal anyways there's a lot of things to consider and think about and um, in the battle box you get a, a good value I think it's a uh, very many miniatures for for bargain price the book itself yeah there's a lot of cool stuff i, I kind of wish kind of wish the army book for britonia was in it and the magic uh, cards too to be honest and also the the dice for britonia so a shout out to mickey jenner she wanted a full review on the dice the 20 dice they are, I think they are kind of good. Let's see, four and up is uh, above average, isn't it? Or is, is four average? Uh, mathematics in the comments, come on, help me out here. A lot of ones, but, uh, and some fours that I'm not sure if it's average or, but uh, we are actually winning regardless. And then we have the scatter dice, that direction, two inches. It goes uh, critical or six, and that's fun. Also, a hit, and you have a little nudge there, that direction if that's needed. Uh, yeah. So, Mickey General, this is it for you. The re mini review of the, mini, uh, the dice is nice. I, I approve the dicey guy approve is is there they feel very nice in the hand they have a very nice sound to them and yeah they are very good so uh, but yeah We get some dices with the package too so let's have a bonus content pair open them up and we can look at them too Woo! ok 
Okay. Let's see, let's uh, get them up as well and see. I think actually if you buy the army specific dice, you get a better average. We have a scattered dice. We don't have the other dice that show you how long. It's, it says Warhammer, the Hor Horrors Heresy, Age of Darkness dice pack on it. Interesting. It doesn't have the uh, inch dice with it. So that's something. I'm just looking at the table. Uh, I didn't lose a dice, so <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Okay, anyways. <laughs> on th on that note, some something new, something old, um, all thrown together. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, please leave a like and comments down below and help me out uh, make this channel bigger. It's um, it's awesome to just be, grow bigger, okay? <laughs> Anyways. Are you excited for the old world? <laughs>